G'day guys, welcome to Yana Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And today we're going to do what's in my empties basket. Doesn't look like much, but there's I think 14 products in here. Um, I haven't been using as many products as I usually do due to COVID, not really doing anything, going anywhere, or really playing with anything new. But there are a couple of things in there that I did receive in like Bella boxes or just randomly picked up because I wanted to try that I wanted to talk to you guys about and let you know what my feels are. I do understand that my hair is kind of weird today. I apologize. It's going to be awkward like that for a little while because I got a haircut and I didn't get the haircut I asked for and I have no idea what to do with it. Um... There's not much I can do with it. It's a very awkward haircut in the sense that I kind of don't have any hair. So, um, anyway, if you can get past that, uh, let's get into the video and um, see how we go. Welcome back guys. You know, I think we might start with some old favourites, things that you'll usually see in every single one of my empties videos, which is the Shea Moisture African Black uh, Soap. I always muddle it up. Shea Moisture African Black Soap Soothing Body Wash Calm and Clear. This stuff is amazing. I've spoken about it so often. If you are new to my channel, uh, just know I love the shit out of this. In fact, this I had more than one of these bottles in my empties basket, but I thought I might as well just show you the one. Beautiful stuff. Wish it was cheaper. Anyway, this stuff is fabulous, and if you haven't tried it, you definitely should get out there and try it at least once. Moving on. The next thing in my empties is this Batiste Dry Shampoo Mumba um, Hair um, Dry Shampoo. Brain farts already and we're only on the second product, guys. Bonus. Um, I don't hate this. Uh, I do prefer to use the brunette one uh, personally so I can avoid the white powdery look that I can get from these. This one as well. It's not the exception. Um, but these are cheap enough and I quite enjoy them and I... Uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with this scent. It's all used up and I probably will repurchase this one again. Next up, we have this Hask Argan Oil of, of Morocco Repair Shine Hair Oil. This stuff lasts forever with me and it's going to last forever more when I do go and buy another one of these. Um, I use these things instead of using conditioner. Conditioner has a tendency to weigh my hair down and I find this is just nicer to use, smells nicer. Um, makes my hair feel better, not as not as heavy, and um, yeah, I actually want to see if they have the keratin one of this. I've been meaning to look at that for like maybe 12 months now to see if they have a keratin version of this. I don't think they do, but I'm hoping they do, and if they do, I'll pick that one up too because I really do like the keratin one a lot more than the um, than the argan oil one. So this guys is an Elf eyebrow pencil. I absolutely love this. There are probably much more uh, better products out there but this is affordable and it's in my shade uh, this is uh, natural brown and I really do enjoy this so yeah I, I already have repurchased another one of this um, but I am currently trying out a different brand and I can't recall what brand that is but I'm really liking something else at the moment too I'm just not sure where to buy it so I'll let you know my feels with that one after I've played with it a little bit more but this one is nice too and it is a staple and I recommend it Next product in my empties is this Pantene Pro-V Blends Micellar Gentle Cleansing Shampoo. I have the shampoo and the conditioner, but as I said, I don't really use the conditioner. I'll find another alternative for that, but I was using the shampoo. And it smells unique, guys. Um, I don't hate it. It's, it's a very clean smell. I guess it's a micellar smell. Um, but I really enjoyed this. This worked really, really well at getting out, like gunked up here, you know, with uh, dry shampoo or waxes and gels. I mean, all shampoo is really good, but this one I find, I don't know, it just does an exceptional job, and um, I really did enjoy this, and it's, I don't normally like Pantene products, so yeah, I like this. Next product I have is from the Scent Lab. I brought these pure Epsom salts in the Scent Cotton Candy. They smell amazing. I actually picked up a few things from Oh gosh, it smells so good from Scent Lab. Um, my son absolutely loves bath water coloured uh, bath bombs or uh, it's got it's got cat hair on it. I don't know why. Anyway, um, my son absolutely loves coloured bath water, and so I picked these up. This probably lasts him. It's it's not much to be honest with you. Maybe four baths. So I haven't really worked out whether hmm, I would call it affordable. I guess it is when you look at most of his bath bombs that are any good are uh, ranging from about $7 up. Uh, and I think I paid $16 for this. So maybe. There's got to be a better way. Maybe I should just put food dye in the water. I don't know. Anyway, 
We enjoyed this and I probably will buy some more. I do recommend it. However, the bath bombs I reckon are probably equally as good, more fun than just your random um, Epsom salts. But this is delightful and I will repurchase it. Moving on to these Mecca Cosmetica Hydrogel Eye Masks. Uh, you're not going to be able to see that with the light. These are fabulous. I love these. I will always pick these up unless I can come across something equally as good and even more affordable than these. I don't think these were really expensive. I can't recall how much I paid for them. But I picked up two packs, so I can't I can't say that they would have been too expensive. Anyway, um, these are delightful. I absolutely love them. They make me feel refreshed. They reduce the puffiness in my eyes. They make me feel kind of special, kind of like I've been to a, a spa, but I'm not, I'm just in my own bedroom, which kind of works for me too, because I like that, so anyway, I love these and I will repurchase these again, these are lovely guys. Moving on to this La Roche Pose Tolerine Sensitive Moisturiser, this stuff is really good guys, um, I use this on my face, uh, it's definitely gentle for anyone who suffers with allergies, oh, sorry, not allergies, but eczema and um, sensitive skin and everything like that, I really did enjoy this, and um, I just, I, I would repurchase this um, if I couldn't find my other moisturiser, but I do have a moisturiser that I do prefer over this, but this is definitely affordable and it is a good one as well, so there you go. Next product in my empties is this Dr. Botanicals Po. I don't know. It's a pomegranate superfood regenerating sleeping mask. I didn't like this, guys. Um, I used this and it just, mm, it feels disgusting. It doesn't smell, I don't think it smelled that good either. No, I didn't like the smell either. And it kind of pills up. Um, I ended up using this on my hands. And um, I got three quarters of the way through it and then I just couldn't stand it anymore. Um, I thought about using it on my body, but like I said, it, it, it kind of pills up. It's really weird and um, I just don't recommend this. And yeah, I couldn't even get through it. I dislike it that much. So this next product is a sample from Kate. What is it? Kate Somerville. It is the recovery cream, uh, stressed skin saver. Um, there was enough product in this for me to get an idea on what it's like and I really didn't enjoy it. Uh, it just had a weird texture and it kind of went on like Vaseline. It, felt, it just felt really, really weird and I wasn't impressed with it. Um, it didn't inspire me to want to buy it. So uh, that's all I can really tell you about this. I just, yeah, I used, I think I got four uses out of this little tiny tub that's here, uh, believe it or not. And um, yeah, I just, I just didn't like it. I think I wrote, yeah. Yeah, I thought maybe that there's a possibility that this was faulty with the texture that it had. It could possibly be being a sample, but who knows? Um, but yeah, eh, I didn't like it. This next one is also a sample. This is the New Face Fix Line Smoothing Serum. I actually, I've only got the little leaflet here. This was really enjoyable. Um, I do believe that this is expensive, and that's probably why I'm not going to purchase it in the full one. But I did enjoy it. Uh, but I don't think I enjoyed it enough to justify how much it would cost me to buy this. I would rather just try everything else that's a little bit more affordable and try and find something that's compatible with this. But I did enjoy it, um, so if you don't have too much of a problem with spending money on some particular skincares, then I do recommend trying this one out. Alright, so this next mask is in a little uh, Ziploc bag because it is definitely dewy. This is the Patchology Get Dewy With It. I just did a video about this, guys, so I can have a little bit more of a chat. I did enjoy it. It definitely was dewy. There was a lot of product. I was able to bring it down to my neck. Um, it did, I didn't rub it in um, when I took the mask off as it did suggest and it dried down a little bit tacky but that tackiness did go away after about 15 minutes so there's that. I'm not sure if that would have happened if I had have actually rubbed it into the skin. Um, it was nice. I mean it's not the best uh, sheet mask that I've ever used in my entire life but it is a quality one and I think it only costs $7 so it's affordable as well. Um, it's still not at the top of my list, but um, I really did enjoy it, and if it was on sale, I would definitely pick this one up again. This next mask is from the brand 16 brand. It's the Peach and, Peach and Apple yeah, Peach and Apple Face Mask. Um, this was not bad. So this smells really nice. Even after a while, it still smells really nice. I didn't have any skin reaction to it, but there was a little bit of tackiness on the skin um, after taking this off. Uh, my skin definitely felt hydrated. Also not one of my favourites. Um, it definitely was moist as well. Um, but yeah, I've just had better. Uh, there's not much else I can say. I have had better. Uh, although this, this was really affordable. I think this was only $4. 
don't quote me, but uh, I'll leave it on the screen somewhere, but th this was really affordable. So um, would I purchase it again? Yeah, of course I would. You know, uh, there was nothing wrong with this mask. I am just on a little bit of a quest to find the perfect mask for me. This one was enjoyable. You should try it out, guys. And the last empties item that I had was also another sample. I was given this uh, four card uh, sample kit by by Terry with the new liquid lipsticks matte and shine and I tried two of them I tried the um, uh, lip expert shine and the lip expert matte in vintage nude both shades uh, which is these two right here um, because red's not my color and I don't know I don't know um, I didn't like either formula I felt that they were really drying in comparison to the other liquid lipsticks that I actually have and the fact that by Terry's as far as I'm aware a little bit expensive or a little bit more than I like to spend anyway I wasn't really impressed by either one of the formulas um, so I wouldn't go out and repurchase the uh, full size even if I did find a shade that I liked because there's so many options out there that I don't know it just it really did dry down and felt it felt like it sucked the life out of me, so uh, well at least it sucked the life out of my lips. So I won't be purchasing the full set of this, or full, I won't be repurchasing a full size of any of these, um, but it was really, really nice to be able to try them out and be able to talk to you guys about them. So that is that. That is all 14 items. I think it was 14 items that I had in my empties, and I hope that this video was just a little bit shorter than some of my other videos for you guys, because I know they have been pushing 40, 50, 60 minutes, and I do apologize. So um, if you like what you saw, guys, feel free, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you want to subscribe, don't forget to uh, click the little subscribe button down there, but if you want to get notified for all my videos, don't forget to also check the bell. Uh, I'm predominantly on here or over on Instagram and my socials will be up on the screen here somewhere for you to have a look. And if you do want to subscribe and you don't like what you see, you could always unsubscribe later on down the road so there's no harm, no foul. So anyway, thanks guys. I really enjoyed talking to you and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.